Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we'll see the most valuable player of 2018, Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs as they match up with Jimmy Garoppolo and the San Francisco 49ers. With that, let's get you out to Silicon Valley, Levi Stadium in Santa Clara as we welcome in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. The coach, you're used to rain all the time over there in Orlando. It is a much less frequent occurrence here, yet wet weather squarely in the forecast this afternoon in Santa Clara, California at Levi's Stadium. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Levi's Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was deafening. They're set for football as the 49ers get ready to do battle with the Kansas City Chiefs. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis, pleased to be with you. Unfortunately, though, Mother Nature not really cooperating, Charles. The rain coming down, it's expected to do so throughout. And whenever I talk to quarterbacks, they worry less about the rain and more about the wind. But you still have to take precautions. You still have to be prepared. The offense always feels like it has the advantage because they know where they're going when they make their cuts. Set to go now on a wet and rainy afternoon. And we are underway from Santa Clara. This one taken from the seven. And they can't corral him. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Kansas City Chiefs got back in the win column in week nine against Minnesota, 26-23. And you talk about the quarterback position. Look, chances are Patrick Mahomes is going to come back sooner rather than later. But Matt Moore acquitted himself as a solid number two guy. He certainly did. And, and think about this. He didn't even play football in 2018. Was out of the league. Thought about being a scout, actually did some scouting, I believe, for the Dolphins for a while. Then he became an assistant high school football coach at his high school back in California. So he was moving on, got the call from Kansas City, came back. And the best part I learned, how he learned the Kansas City offense. He learned it by taking a script, going out on the field with another coach, making the calls, and doing a simulated game with just himself calls, checks, where the ball is, how the ball moves, all of those things. Try and force feed him learning the Kansas City playbook. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. That's caught inside the 20. And he finally is out of bounds, but he's down inside the 20-yard line. Well, there's a pretty big start right there. They go bombs away on the first play from scrimmage. Put a smile on your face, didn't it? Not because you're rooting for anyone, but that's the way to begin a game, to put someone back on their heels and announce that they plan. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. touchdown. From 17 yards out. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, 
and they end up in the end zone. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Jimmy Garoppolo leading out the undefeated San Francisco 49ers. And for Garoppolo, you know, two-year anniversary of the trade that brought him from New England to San Francisco happened on Halloween. That was back in 2017. And a nice little anniversary gift in 2019, arguably his best game yet, 317 yards against the Arizona Cardinals and a career-high four touchdowns, Charles. And what was beautiful about that, besides the fact he went to 16-2 and as an NFL starting quarterback, here's the thing. The one question people kept asking, can San Francisco win if the game is totally in Jimmy Garoppolo's hands? And I think he answered that question. It's Arizona on Thursday night. Running game wasn't its normal self, right? Defense played well, but not as well as they'd been playing. They needed every one of those touchdown passes and every one of those big throws from him. He has to feel much more confident moving forward, as does San Francisco in him. By the way, list of 49er quarterbacks with 300 or more yards passing, four-plus touchdowns and no INTs in a regular season game. Steve Young did it three times, Jeff Garcia twice, Elvis Gerback, and then you had Joe Montana do it once, and now Jimmy Garoppolo. That tells you just how difficult it is to do if Joe Montana only did it once. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Fielded at about the 28. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Kansas City's offense comes back out here. You know, Charles, you had the game in Arrowhead against Minnesota week nine. And the Chiefs, at one point, they were in danger of losing their fourth straight home game yeah, at Arrowhead. I yeah. mean, that, that was the thought. unbelievable. Three in a row was unheard of, let alone four. But... Harrison Butker saved the day with a game winner. Yeah, he did, and Matt Moore at the quarterback position. That became his eighth game-winning drive, rallied them late. Even after a big penalty, he made it, I think, a second and 21 or something. Big throw to Travis Kelsey. They end up in field goal position. Butker delivers. But they're not back at Arrowhead for a while. They go to Tennessee in their next game. Is that when Patrick Mahomes returns? We'll find out. Then they play the Chargers in Mexico City before getting an open week. So we'll see when number 15 makes his return. But for right now, they like what they're getting out of Matt Moore. And quickly now, a look at the Kansas City offense. Yeah, I feel a little bad here because we missed out talking about these guys on the opening drive because they were in the end zone before we had a chance to even say anything. But let's keep an eye on these wideouts. QB already has one touchdown pass. You know he's looking for a few more before this one's over. Those wideouts will get plenty of opportunities to try and score again. It'll go as a gain of 10 or to Kansas City first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. This is caught by Robinson. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Mahomes throw once more. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Starting lineup here for the 49ers defensively. And, you know, we had J.J. Watt go down with a peck injury in Houston. And now for this 49er defense, Quan Alexander 
pec injury, and he's done for the year. Oh, and that's so sad for them because, remember, they acquired Quan Alexander. It helps solidify the interior of their defense to pair him with now the second-year linebacker Fred Warner out of BYU, and what a combo. That and he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Demarcus Robinson with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 49ers coming back out here on offense. We mentioned their 8-0 start to the season. They actually broke an eight-game losing streak to the Cardinals when they defeated them. Eight-game losing streak? Yeah, they had lost the Cardinals eight straight times. That's four seasons worth. Yeah. Wow. And then a 28-25 victory this past week snapped that. But it was also the first game this year that the Niners have actually thrown it more times than they ran the football CD. And that is something that I think people are starting to come to grips with about San Francisco because you think about their head coach, Kyle Shanahan, and his reputation as an offensive wizard. And whenever we hear that, what's the first thing we think? Throwing the football. He's nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Frank Clark fighting his way home to get the sack. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that lead. Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. On third and long, it's Garoppolo. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Get him, boy! Get him, boy! Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. Last year's MVP, Patrick Mahomes, leading the Chiefs for their next possession. Mahomes now on first down. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. On first down, Mahomes. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Mahomes going to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he's taken down inside the 30. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 29-yard line. Mahomes now 8 of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And that is caught by Watkins for a chief touchdown. Sammy Watkins, 29 yards. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. And that was really just a great battle for that football on both sides. The result is a touchdown. Ordinarily, I'd like to say it was a win-win, but it really wasn't because the defender, while he was there with excellent coverage, he didn't get the benefit, did he? But he's not going to get chewed up in film session, will No, he? he was right there. They'll tell him, okay, of course you need to knock the ball away, but they won't be too upset with him. He did his job for the most part. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. 
The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you can get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here. But you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. It's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Here we go. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Okay. Just like that. Just like that. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. He's got his man, it's Kendrick Bourne. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 40. And remember, it was on this field September 23rd of last year when Jimmy Garoppolo had the injury. He was having a nice game, 250 yards, a couple of touchdowns. Then he injured the left knee. It was revealed the next day that he had torn his ACL, ending his season. So he's trying to put that bad memory behind him here. Garoppolo after the fake give to Brita. Open man is born. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Last play they went over 20 yards. This time they top 30. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. On first down, here's Brita. And they'll get this from the 8 to the 5. Pick up a 3. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So backed up to the six now, third and goal. There's Garoppolo to throw. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Like a freight train there, Derek Nottie with a sack. That's quite a stand there defensively. A huge sack on third down, and that's going to force him into a field goal attempt. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. This is a 26-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. Well, that's something of a pick-me-up, but the offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it, those three points, that's not going to solve all their problems either. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense. And how about the start so far, Charles? Three first-half touchdown passes. And that's how you generate excitement on a team, keep your offense moving at a really high level, and it's also how you establish leadership by playing that well. Three touchdown passes, that's the way to lead. Now he's just hoping for number four. 153 remaining in this first half of play. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Mahomes now to throw. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. The linebacker Fred Warner right there on the coverage. So now third and 10, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. And again, it's Mahomes. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. And the return goes up to his own 17-yard line. 
Well, Charles, let's take a quick peek back to week nine. We saw the first win for the Dolphins, first loss for the Patriots. So what we're left with is one 8 no team, the 49ers, and one 0 oh 8 team in the Bengals. So what happens first, a Bengals win or a 49ers loss? Ooh, that's a very intriguing question, isn't it? And you really don't like this race because the Bengals, you're hoping to actually get a win and get off the schneid. But, well, Cincinnati, they got Baltimore at Oakland, Pittsburgh, and the Jets. San Francisco gets Seattle, Arizona, Green Bay at Baltimore. I'm going to go that San Francisco loses a game before Cincinnati wins one. I agree. That's a tough stretch coming up for San Francisco. And the funny part is Arizona just played them tough last Thursday night. They've got them again. They're the type of team that can really mess up a team season. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. And he gets this away. Look at this. This is a good one. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. You've got under a minute to go here until halftime. you got the good size lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no nowhere to escape, and he goes down. I don't know what you were seeing on that play, but it felt to me like I wasn't watching a football field. I was watching a boxing ring. Watching where he was bobbing and weaving and trying to make sure he kept the play alive. Just didn't turn out well for him in the end. Dude. Impressive that he stayed in the pocket while avoiding those couple of would-be tacklers, but eventually goes down. And on, way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. First down, Chiefs. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Good work, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never wanted to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real, I'm doing it, though. This is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. A gain of 10 and a 49 er first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 43. Garoppolo. And he floats one there incomplete. He was looking for Matt Breida out of the backfield. And that'll bring up second down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Well, they certainly haven't been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just to pin their ears back and get after him now. 
Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. A big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now Mahomes. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. This quarterback now over 300 yards now for the game and time to improve on that as he's got a first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes looking for... And that is caught by Watkins for a Chief touchdown. Sammy Watkins, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Butker on for the PAT. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Pater. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And San Francisco gets set to go here. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. On second down, it's Coleman. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup. And now they've got a third down and eight. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Looking for Sanders here on the deep ball. And that is incomplete. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw, unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. It's taken to the 26. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Set to take over, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. He has been on his A game in the third quarter. He's already in search of touchdown pass number five. He's played so well that it's hard for me to take my eyes off of him, even when he's not on the field. I keep finding my eyes, finding him on the bench in between series, wondering what he's going to do next. This has been a blast to watch him play the position. Uh, he's been spectacular with those four touchdown passes. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. 
Well, last year, Chris Conley was the third option at receiver for Kansas City. He shipped off to Jacksonville. Now they're hoping that Robinson can help fill that void. And Andy Reid has said that he and Mahomes are developing a great rapport, hoping to improve upon the 22 times they connected last season. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. Doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, they move and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary. And I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his movement out of the pocket. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Now it's Mahomes again. He is going to find Hill here. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And this will move the chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the 49ers' 12-yard line. Mahomes now a perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. He's got it to Williams. And Williams is in for a Kansas City touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. 13 yards there and a Niner first. Garoppolo, 10 of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first and 10. Throwing now is Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. A gain of six there on first. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 43. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Debo Samuel, the rookie wideout, his intended receiver. And now it's second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. As Anders has got it, complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. He's got the leg, but it's no good. He missed it right, and this score will stay right where it is. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. They go play action here on first down. And a little floater there is incomplete. They're still throwing the football here. Now, obviously, the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work 
an exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, are you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight. And he is not going to get away. The rush was too strong, and this is going to wind up a safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here, and that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL. Fell, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. At this point, down to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Garoppolo, he's going to give this to Breed on the draw. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he gets up near the 25 to about the 24 before going out of bounds. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Yeah, give it points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. Mahomes going to throw. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now is down. It went with the dive look that time on defense. Just flooded the field with defensive backs. Blanketed everyone. Took away all the passing angles. Thus, the incomplete. And from their own end zone, it's a fake. And this is caught. And the fake will work. He's going to have a first down. A big breakdown defensively there on the fake punt. Turns into a huge play and a first down. Mahomes. 
Mahomes going to throw it here. Oh, incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it there. And it'll be second down. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Throwing now is Mahomes. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A gain there of 30 big ones. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that has been common. Blitz coming, and down he goes. D4. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. And yeah, they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it's just more focus on what they plan to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Santa Clara.